Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to easily make an outboard motor PVC tiller arm extension. Now this is not my design. Uh, my friend Joe Sachel had one on his boat and I'm really just copying his. What you're going to need is a piece of inch and a half PVC. I used about 12 inches. A piece of inch and a quarter PVC, the length of the extension that you want to make. Um, an inch and a half to inch and a quarter reducer. An inch and a half to an inch and a half coupler some PVC glue, and two stainless steel hose clamps. Now to get started, um, I just measured uh, the length of the grip. This is a 25 horsepower Yamaha. It's about seven and three quarters of an inch. And then I used a uh, chop saw. I cut inch and a half PVC, about 12 inches long. This is gonna be the piece that we're gonna make um, slide over that grip on the outboard. I went to the drill press. You could do this with a hand, handheld drill. And I'm going to drill three holes. I use quarter inch, but you could also use three eighths. Evenly spaced. And then I'm going to use a uh, black Sharpie and just draw straight lines from each of those holes uh, to the end of the PVC. And I'm just going to use that as a visual guide to cut slots into that PVC. We're really just making a collet out of the PVC that's going to clamp over the grip on the outboard. Now you can cut that PVC any way you want. You could use a Dremel grinder. Um, I happen to have a little angle grinder um, and just very quickly was able to cut slots from that uh, drilled hole right through the end. What's nice with the um, angle grinder is it, it cuts a fairly thick slot, so it really um, gives that, that PVC collet uh, a little gripping power, a little bit of space to clamp down. You could even do it with a uh, hacksaw if you wanted to. So after the slots are done, you can see that that PVC is flexible. Hopefully the holes at the end of each slot will prevent it from, from cracking, continuing along that cut crack. Now I'm going to cut the length of the extension arm that I want. Now for my little skiff, I have a 13-foot Delquay dory, uh, very similar to a 13-foot Boston Whaler. Um, and I really just want to be able to stand up without crouching down to grab the, the tiller arm and uh, possibly sit a little bit forward so the boat planes off a little faster. So I went with about an 18 inch arm at an inch and a quarter. Then I'm just going to glue everything together uh, using PVC glue. Press up each of the components together. So you've got the uh, inch and a half glued to the inch and a half to inch and a half coupler. Uh, then I'm going to glue uh, the inch and a quarter with a reducer to that assembly. Let that dry. And then I'll, I sprayed it with some black spray paint. Now I took this one on and off the boat a few times. This is being used on a duck hunting boat. Uh, so the, the black paint got scraped up. But if you were to permanently mount it, you, you probably wouldn't even scratch the paint. I attached it with uh, two stainless steel hose clamps. Just a very, very simple do-it-yourself project. It really helps me to position myself. I use some um, hockey tape just to create a grip. But it really allows me to move just forward enough so that the boat planes off a little, a little easier. And it's much easier to stand um, and drive the boat. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would absolutely love to hear some feedback if you'd, if you'd kindly leave some feedback in the feedback section. And I'd ask you to um, take a look at our website, DIYEasyCrafts.com, for a variety of boating and nautical-related do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much.